peace family this is your brother brother willie muhammad and as you see on the screen there's a picture of this pastor from tulsa um and is he has set the internet ablaze because he was trying to illustrate a story in the bible to his uh congregation to teach them a principle and i understand what he was trying to do but the point and, and let me say this for the record brother has apologized and i've seen some clips of him he's a dynamic pastor so this is in no way shape or form a shot at him but what this is an attempt to do is to encourage those who teach the word of god via the bible or the holy quran to take some time out to see and study and analyze what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad has shared about scriptures found in the Bible and in the Holy Quran and what his number one student, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan does. Because as, as grossed out as people are about what he did, that's actually a story in the Bible that Jesus is said to have taken spittle and put on a man's eyes. And inshallah, this Sunday at Muhammad Mosque number 46, located at 4201 Diamond Road, we're going to talk about this, inshallah. But there's a deeper meaning to the story. And this is why it's important that in the back of the Final Call newspaper in the Muslim program, one of our beliefs as Muslim members of the Nation of Islam, we talk about how scriptures need to be reinterpreted. And what we just saw is an example of why they need to be rightly in interpreted. So in the Holy Quran, it talks about how some verses are decisive. And it talks about how some verses are allegorical, but it talks about how some people take the allegorical verses and teach them as being decisive. And this is what we're seeing taking place, not only in the Christian world, but also in the Islamic world as well. So come out this coming Sunday, brothers and sisters, so you can hear what the Mosan Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan give to the meaning of that scripture about Jesus taking spittle to help a blind man. See, peace.